tonight. But um, they're coming down to London and they know that they've just got to uh, get a draw here tonight. So uh, they should be, should be very optimistic. And they're playing Ronaldo, Andy, down the middle. Yep. No Berbatov, no Tevez. Did that surprise you? A little bit. I mean, we've seen what he can do from those sort of areas. The goal against Porto, even last week when he had the shot that cracked against the crossbar. He is a threat there. Clearly, um, when he's in the wider areas, running a bit. No, it's a test, but they are still a young side. So I think from Arsenal's point of view, he probably doesn't look the way other people are looking on it, that they have to win this year. You know, he's, he's still progressing these young players. And uh, there's, good, there's good times ahead, we know that, because it, they're a fantastic side to watch. And Cristiano Ronaldo, are we perhaps seeing his last few games? Champions League. I mean, that's the prize that uh, tells it. Arsene Wenger says this is the most difficult game. Insisting the match statistics were more even. Here's Ronaldo getting in behind uh, Toure. Linking up with Rooney. Oh, it almost came for Ares in the middle, but... It's a cork cross and easily cleared by Evra. Ronaldo will have to take them on on his own. What a challenge he will shirk, though. He's leaning over Rooney, but finding only Anderson. Ronaldo is on the move here. Giroud matching him stride for stride. Pull back towards Park. Gibbs slips. It's Jisung Park. It is a slip by Gibbs, who impressed everybody last week at Old Trafford, and it's it's a shame for him. But look at the pace of Ronaldo, able to get him behind. That's a couple of times he's done that. The slip makes it easier for Park but there's still quite a bit to do and I thought Al Mounia might just have had enough time to be able to get there and smother the chance down but the South Koreans taken it very well to dink it over him maybe he's actually played it into the ground a little doesn't matter it's found its way over the goalkeeper giving it away to Park and Fletcher has run it from Fabregas and Ronaldo has run a free kick Van Persie Kieran Gibbs will need some help now a picture of coolness and confidence a week ago, I don't... But is this a free kick? No, watch, he's miscontrolled it, it's gone. I don't think Van Persie has done anything to him. Too far for Ronaldo to think about it. Oh! Absolutely sensational! He went through Almunia, beaten for pace! And Manchester United have... And Cristiano Ronaldo has matched to leave Arsenal all but Well, listen, I think the goalkeeper's Cano was terrific as well in the first leg. He kept his team in it. I think he gets caught here. I mean, it's a fantastic strike. But I think he should be dealing with that. I think he should be working his feet better, getting across and timing that around the post. Take nothing away from Ronaldo. We know he can strike him. He's probably the best in the world at it. I think the keeper's caught. Well, how much did this move? It moved north-south pretty quickly. Yeah. I don't think it did a great deal of east-west on the way. No, I don't think it did. I mean, I, I, he lost control. Van Bersi came into contact with him. Evra. And Ronaldo is onside again, and for once his control let him down. He is. He could go. I mean, they just can't handle this kind of... And Fletcher told Ronaldo to stay out of it. Now he can get involved. He was offside when the initial ball was played through. It's good communication from Darren Fletcher. Commitment or energy levels. Anderson with the corner. Ronaldo. Well, the only man marking was Nemanja Vidic. Two of them rose. Unop well, I mean, you know, Arsenal had a problem last week as well. That is really, really poor. To get sucked underneath the ball like that and just leave him with a free header. It's asking for it. Free kick, which went straight through Manuel Armonia after 11. Here's Ronaldo again. Scored in the last 16, the semi-final against Arsenal. And he acquitted himself so well against this man, oh, very unfortunate for the lad. Anderson will take this Manchester... Carrick, Ronaldo, Manchester United still hungry for more. In such a predicament, you know, and there probably are one or two still kind of trying and trying to G the rest, but... I think there are one or two heads going as well. Cristiano Ronaldo in circus mode already. There'll be current Sunday League centre forwards, many ex centre forwards nodding knowingly in their living rooms right now, saying goalkeepers get too much protection. Ronaldo, you need protection from him. Almunia got everything behind that one. Carrick. Ronaldo. Oh, that's a. 
sliding challenge from Sanya right under the referee. Like this. Well, does he get a piece of the ball, He's Sanya? Simple as that. May have done, you know, may have just got his kind of studs to it as Ronaldo played it. I think it's a foul. And so did Roberto Rossetti. And I think Chris is essentially behind the wall. It's Ronaldo. That one did seem to move. But Almunia watched it carefully and fielded in ITV4 on Thursday. Our next Champions League football, ITV4 on Thursday. Both UEFA Cup semi-final second legs, one after another. Just haven't been able to make any inroads in terms of testing out Edwin van der Sar so far, Arsenal. On the foul on Ronaldo. Fletcher's very displeased about this one. He felt that was nastier from... I'm not sure Son made a lot of contact. Fabregas has kind of come in on the follow-up. It's just kind of a tangle of legs in the end, isn't it? Short of self-confidence. Yeah. Ronaldo takes. And yeah, it might have been a little overhit that one from Fletcher. A little apologetic hand goes up. I think there's Ronaldo scored from so far out. But from an Arsenal point of view, they were both avoidable goals. And now the unavoidable reality is that they need a miracle. At half-time, it's Arsenal nil, Manchester United 2. And a ruthless first half from United.